and scientists have made a breakthrough that could save the northern white rhino from becoming extinct. As Emily Chabet reports, scientists have found a way to reproduce the endangered northern white rhino and avert the looming extinction of the species. There are only two remaining northern white rhinos in the world found at All Pegeta Conservancy here in Kenya. Nestled at the foot of the lofty Mount Kenya, Old Pegeta Conservancy is one of the most unique and vital wildlife sanctuaries in East Africa. With its wide, sun-drenched plains and rich biodiversity, it's here that scientists and conservationists have focused their knowledge and expertise to save a species on the brink of extinction. Once roaming the vast plains of Central and Eastern Africa, the northern white rhino has been reduced to the most tragic of all realities, just two remaining on the planet. Both are here at Olpegeta Conservancy in Lekipia County. Meet 35-year-old Najin and her 24-year-old daughter Fatu, the only two northern white rhinos that represent the last of their kind. The two females cannot carry pregnancy, and to complicate the matter, the last male white rhino that was known as Sudan died in 2018, a reality that puts the northern white rhino in extreme danger of being wiped away completely. Mm. But thanks to a team of experts from Kenya and around the world who collected and preserved sperm cells from the last two male northern white rhinos, there is hope of continuity. The collected samples were transported to Italy, where in vitro fertilization, IVF, began combining the sperm cells and mature eggs to create embryos. We have managed to collect about uh, 150 oocytes, 95% of these coming from that same female, Fatu. Uh, we have managed to develop or create over 30 uh, embryos. In September 2023, two of the embryos that are currently stored in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees Celsius in Berlin, Germany, and Cremonia, Italy, were carefully transported to Kenya to be implanted into a surrogate mother called Cura, a southern white rhino living at Olpegeta Conservancy. It took 13 attempts, but for the first time ever, they finally succeeded. Sadly, both mother and fetus died after the female contracted a bacterial infection that conservationists say was likely caused by the heavy rains and floods linked to climate change. An ultrasound conducted showed that a 70-day-old male fetus, the product of the embryo transfer, had been developing inside her. The first test embryo was from a pure southern white on a pure southern white uh, surrogate. And this is what I'm saying about uh, that we now know and prove that the concept can work. So the attempts that the teams are doing now, the team of scientists, is trying to use now this technology to be able to implant a pure northern white rhino embryo, which is cryopreserved into a pure southern white surrogate with uh, other government agencies like KWS and WRTI, we have been able to, to, to create embryos that over time we shall be able to transfer into surrogates of a different species of rhino called the southern right rhino species. Now this um, is a, a proof of concept has been done and we hope that uh, within the next uh, couple of years we shall be able to have a rhino calf. President William Ruto has affirmed the government's commitment to the genetic preservation of the two remaining northern white rhinos, noting that 70% of wild animals in Kenya are accommodated in conservancies. We are proud to be the largest black rhino sanctuary in East Africa, home to 175 black rhinos, 47 southern white rhinos, and as the world knows, the last two remaining northern white rhinos on earth. In fact, the late Sudan must be one of the best-known rhinos ever to have graced this planet. The government of Kenya is going to work with you to make sure that we don't lose the genetics of these two rhinos. We're going to work together to see to it that whatever is required of you and us and others to make sure that we preserve this species of rhinos, the government of Kenya will play its role. The journey is far from over, 
but each step brings the world closer to the possibility of bringing the northern white rhino back from the brink of extinction. Poaching and biodiversity laws have been blamed for the extinction of some of the animal species in the country. But if science that is currently underway is anything to go by, there is hope for the northern white rhino in the country. Emily Chebet is TV of Bejeta Conservancy in Laikipia County.